Hello guys and welcome to another Battle Epic live stream. You're joined by me, a wild time, and today we have we got a match for you. As you can see on the screen here, we are joined by Tribe Gaming and the Duchies. Today we have got two rounds of St. Quentin Scar and two rounds of Amiens. So we should be in for a really, really good game here. Now, obviously, Dutchies didn't do so well in the last round, losing 4-0 to Raw. Hopefully, they can bring this back in this Tribe Gaming's round. Uh, they played very, very well, very close rounds. And as we can see, we're just waiting on one more of the Tribe members to get this round going. If any of you guys are having any uh, audio issues, either on my end or, say, one volume's too uh, quiet than the other... Please let me know and I'll try and fix it as soon as possible. Obviously we've had some very, very exciting rounds of the uh, BCL so far. And we're starting to see a lot of the uh, group stages take form. And we're going to see who the top players are and how it's going to play out. We should be in for a very, very good game so far. So we've got some of the try players are just jumping in to warm up and uh, see how it goes. I mean, we've got some very different maps here being played tonight. Like I said before, we've got some Quinton Sky and Amiens. I mean, both similar in the way that they're a triangle form with the lanes in the middle and you've got the three main routes to each of the, uh, to each of the flags, really. Um, playing out very very different differently i mean on sir quinton sky you've got those very long wide flanks that we've seen some people take advantage of when they get in that triple cap or in their last flag uh whereas amiens you're kind of piped into the center of the map or you're going down those one main roads uh, to each of the flags there so it's down to the each team's individual play style in maps like this whoever controls the center of the map tends to control the rest of the flags so it's down to, again, whoever's dominating that center will probably end up winning the game. Uh, a lot of the time on this map, though, St. Quinton Scar, I know from playing myself and seeing other teams play, that we find out that it ends up being the momentum that carries the team forward. You can't really stagnate yourself on the flags here. At the very beginning of the game, we'll see each team capping the Charlie and Alpha flag respectively as the home flag, and then sending a contingent or a group of at least three players down to that Bravo flag to secure it. From then on, from then on in, we tend to see a lot of movement throughout the map and a lot of trading flags. Those Alpha and Charlie flags will be switching quite aggressively and quickly depending on uh, how the teams play. But everyone knows that you have to be careful with that Charlie flag because for whatever reason, no matter if you've just capped it or you've, you know, it's you just got the triple cap, that Charlie flag seems to be the one that everyone spawns at as a random spawn. So you just got to be very careful and at least leave one person that Charlie flag to call the Charlie spawn. Again, still waiting on one of the players here. It looks like Tribers uh, got all their five on and Dutchies have dropped a player and they're just trying to get them back in. Round should start shortly. Some of you guys can barely wait for what's going to happen. Neither can I. And it looks like all the players are in. So let's get this road on the show. Again, if any of you guys would like me to turn the game volume up, please let me know. Um, audio can always change from stream to stream, so it's always nice to uh, get that fine balance from you guys watching now. But here we go, the first round of the uh, of this game, really. Tribe versus Dutchies. This is going to be Dutchies' second game in their group stage. Unfortunately, losing the first one 4-0 against Raw. Uh, tribe, a very strong team here. Let's see what Dutchies can do. 
But in my personal opinion, knowing from what I've uh, seen and what I heard, I think Tribe is going to uh, definitely take this one and hopefully Dutchies can really upset that. Hello Manny, nice of you joining us all the way from America here to watch the EU game. Hope you enjoy. Let's take that white screen off for you guys as the game is about to begin in 20 seconds. Ten seconds to go. All teams are in. And we're going to start off with the tabletop view just to see where the teams are and how they spawn in. And then we'll slowly move down to uh, each individual player and how the as the game unfolds really. Five seconds to go. Again with the spectator. Always the longest five seconds of your life. And it's over very quickly. It's, we're on zero. And the round has begun. And as, as we can see we've got Tribe in the red. Dutchies in the blue. Tribe get the alpha spawn. Dutchies get the blue. It looks like Dutchies are sending two people round to the Bravo flag. As Tribe sends three. And we've got Lawrence here looking to push as the medic. He spots people through the bush here. Now, obviously, we can see these people. The tribe won't be able to see those icons at the top of the head there. As 3D spotting is turned off at the moment. Lawrence gets taken down by uh, Scott here. And let's jump up and see what's going on. Tribe managed to hold that Bravo flag with the likes of AIM here. AIM Razor. We'll eventually come up to decide which one I want to call you here. A lot of action happening. We've got Testosterone here trying to hold the uh, C flag. Not much going on for him at the moment. His team is really pushing the advantage. Again, although they're pushing very, very hard, Tribe are managing to hold those flags here. And again, we're going to spawn on um, the one here. He's got a very nice flank. Head glitching behind this ball. He's got a very, very good opportunity to take out quite a bit of the pushes pushing towards Bravo flag here. Now, I can. I just heard people in the house there. I hope um, Horn did as well. And again, like I said, he gets that flank, gets him in the back. He's getting hit from tree. Hopefully his teammate's got him covered. Grenade comes in, and unfortunately he can't escape in time as it nails him in the back. We are losing objective butter. Now, it looks like we've got Testosterone here, who is trying to push in to the alpha flag, but he's got two people... One above and one below defending there. He needs to be very, very careful of what he does and what happens. Now he's pushing in. I can definitely hear people. And I see someone around the corner. Goes for the slide. Unfortunately, the cart is in the way and soaks up quite a few of the shots he was receiving. Now we're going to go to aim Razor Hughes on Bravo as Dutchie's pile in. He's the only one left in there. Two motors just spawned in him as four of the Dutchies players are capping the Bravo flag. Razor's out of grenades. He can't fire. And teammate throws in a good grenade there to the bottom. Again, just a few hit markers. And all of the uh, the tribe guys are spawning in the attic now. But rocket guns are coming in. Attic gets taken out. Tribe get two nice kills there on the Bravo flag. Still a few of the Dutch players are on. Let's keep following Razor. He's on two health. He's absolute right now. You know, a fart could take the guy out. But his health is slowly regaining. Takes the opportunity to reload. Dutchies go in front of him, not checking their corners. Marshall again doing a good job there as well. Getting those kills. Alpha still fairly uncontested at the moment. And suplexed by Tree with the bar. Grenade drops in front of him, but it doesn't matter because Razor takes him out. It looks like we've got a push on the Alpha Flag by Dutchies. Tribe doing a very, very good job in defending at the moment. Oh, getting a bit of lag here. Don't know if that's me or the players that I'm spectating. We'll soon to find out. Dutchies do a good job pushing into Alpha, but luckily for Tribe, Lawrence is there, gets the kill and the revive to cement the defense there. Let's jump out and see what's going on. Let's jump into a third person and look at the push on Alpha here. As you can see, we've got three of the Dutchies players here pushing from that mid-house. They're going 
in each bar on either side. Lawrence is there waiting. He takes out Mons. Well, he's going to look to take out Mons here. But Shot is coming in. Gets the flank on Lawrence. Who, and he gets the kill. Shot is going to hide in the obvious bush corner there. Again, not the wisest position. I would usually go in this back building here. A bit more cover there. And uh, easier to get away if need be. Suplex and slot managed to uh, recap the alpha flag or recap push the alpha flag get the wipe and get the kill there Look at the kill feed here. Dutch is doing an awesome job at countering those try players Again, yeah, getting a bit of lag on my end from the server If the stream's coming out laggy for you guys, please let me know in the chat it's 2942 to tribe tribe doing an awesome job and they looks like they're recapping that alpha flag here now, Dutchies are pushing that Bravo flag. They've lost Alpha. They know where they need to go. Testosterone see, sees one player, spots him. Now, Dutchies need to get separated and they need to get out of here. Shot does a good job. Look at the, getting two kills there. Now, Testosterone going, move back to Alpha. Look to take out the push. See someone on the other side of the wall. Good headshot and a nice body shot. Finish that off there. I'll see what I can do.